plus uh, HHVM. <laughs> so, you know, why not PHP? I mean, what's the reason for not having that particular functionality which allows you to actually see what the code expects to receive and emit errors when it gets something which it doesn't? Right? It helps the developers do things and doesn't restrict their abilities because it's optional. It's not required. Right? So, okay, if you choose... Okay. <laughs> Uh, first, I would like to thank you for acknowledging that HHVM, unlike PHP, is a real programming language. <laughs> uh, second, I would like to offer several counters examples, such as Python, Perl, uh, many languages where scalar height mintings have had no place in the past. So to argue that a real programming language should have type mintings is perhaps missing the entire picture. <laughs> uh, However, I would say that I did not argue that because it did not exist in the past, unlike Benjamin Franklin's advanced computer science degree, <laughs> uh, that it is not made for it to exist in the future. My position is that what does it buy the user? Does it buy the user the ability to write better programs that last longer and are more maintainable, or does it buy the user new warnings, new errors, new notices, new E everything that's not really everything. <laughs> we all know how PHP handles errors. Okay, next. So, since you brought up Perl, which is an artisan language, <laughs> design Thomas Jefferson was very fond of Perl. <laughs> So, since, as I've said, you brought up artisan language and a language for mathematicians by mathematicians. <laughs> um, you know, what I'll ask you is how many operating systems, kernels, uh, or any major pieces of software were actually developed in those languages? So, when you need to design a bigger project where you have data integrity in mind and something that's a little bit more complex than basic input yeah. processing, here you go. Out of batteries? Then you need something that's a little bit more capable, something that helps you develop code as opposed to restricting you from developing code. So tools that allow you to better understand what the code is doing is probably not such a bad idea. Right? Uh, Mr. Moderator, are we done then? That was probably quick. I'm just fixing batteries. Don't worry about the batteries. Moderate the damn debate. Right, next I just lose points by yelling at the moderator. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. The time's up. Uh, sh shall we get a vote by, by applause? Uh, yeah. Who feels that Ilya has demonstrated the best case for scalar type hinting? Please applaud. Uh, who's, who is standing on the side of American history? <laughs> years of, of proud computer science knowledge. Applause, please. <laughs> uh, I would say that is clear victory to you, sir. Well done. <laughs>